Starry, starry night Paint your palette blue and gray Look out on a summer's day With eyes that know the darkness in my soul Sketch the trees and the daffodils Catch the breeze and the winter chills In colors on the snowy linen land What you tried to say to me How you suffered for your sanity How you tried to set them free Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. And thank you to those of you who have supported my channel by liking and subscribing. Your support allows me to continue to bring you fountain pen reviews as I am unsponsored on this channel, so thanks. And today is my lovely wife, Wynn's birthday. Happy birthday, love. And yes, I got her a present. And yes, it's a pen. I'll show you the pen in a moment. And yes, I got her more than a pen. I got her ink too. And these 18 long stemmed red roses. Aww. The leaps of Pepe are upon you. Now I've told you about the pen enthusiast affliction known as pass gas or pen acquisition syndrome and gear acquisition syndrome. But I may not have shared with you a dangerous side effect of pass gas, and that is fomonucleosis. This is a condition which occurs when you suffer from pass gas and FOMO, the fear of missing out, and you, in fact, miss out. Fomonucleosis is the result. It's a three-stage process. FOMO, the fear of missing out on the new pen model. FOMO 2, the fury that you did in fact miss out on the pen. And FOMO 3, the FOMO funk, the funk you enter now that you are rendered irrelevant because you missed out on the new pen. This stage is also called Funk U. I have researched these maladies and I have found a cure for Funk U, and that is RT, or Retail Therapy. I suggest liberally applying RT to your credit cards, debit cards, and PayPal accounts. I discovered all of this because I had a severe attack of FOMO stages 1 through Funk U when I ordered two of the new Pen BBS Model 348s from Taobao using the English language front end called TB Focus. I ordered two Pen BBS 348 pens within a couple of hours of them appearing on Taobao. I purchased one for my pen friend and YouTube collaborator Alan Light of What I Ink and one for me. This was in advance of a planned collaborative review of the pens. To keep this account short, I'll just relate that both purchases were cancelled by Taobao and it took us exactly a month to get our money returned. Of course, this left me feeling the devastating effects of Funk U. I fell into a deep depression, which got deeper with each photo of a newly arrived Pen BBS 348 by lucky folks on the Facebook group and every review video by those lucky YouTube reviewers who received their pens. Each time I recited my FOMO mantra that this was not my fault. Funk you. Funk you. Funk you. I found what might not be a cure, but at least a temporary relief from fomonucleosis, getting a new Pen BBS pen in the mail. So today we're going to look at this new Pen BBS 491 in a new finish for me, Starry Night. Now the model isn't new to me as I had one of these before, but I gave it away to one of my viewers in a pen giveaway. It's just the kind of guy I am. But I like the model and you'll see what I think of the Starry Night acrylic right now. And it's another MPD, New Pen Day for me. And it's a package from China, what a surprise. Does Doug get anything but Chinese pens? Inquiring minds want to know. But this is a Chinese pen and let's open it right now.
no cat stickers today. And what we have here is a failure to communicate. What we've got here is failure to communicate. No, what we have here is a 491. And this one is in a very cool color I've never had before, Starry Night. Typical pen BBS box. And the cardboard box with the embossed pen BBS and the red surround on the chevron front, magnetic flap. And just a, a word to those of you that are getting these pens. When you open this up, don't bend it all the way back. It doesn't, it's not designed to bend all the way back. You'll break it. Just opens to there and that's it. And here's the pen. And unfortunately for you uh, ASMR fans, uh, the pen BBS pens now come in a polyethylene kind of bag rather than that crinkly cellophane. So there's no ASMR to be had. Oh, this is a beautiful color. My goodness. Look at that. Very, very chatoyant. But when I saw this beautiful starry night color, woo, I just had to have it. Fine nib. And this pen is one of those dual purpose pens that has an O ring right there. That's why it takes so much to get it off right there and it's the pen bbs standard converter but you can take that converter out and eyedropper this pen and it takes a lot of ink but that's a lovely pen review tba and before we look at the starry night 491 let's talk about how much i've overcome my fomonucleosis with retail pen therapy. Since I was so rudely snubbed by TB Focus, I do apologize for you, bastard! A pox upon you for holding back my refund. Ah, blow my nose at you! Since that day, I have made the following purchases to soothe my offended sensibilities. Here's what you will be seeing in upcoming reviews. As I was recently asked by Yoast Applebaum to do a video on my top three fountain pens, yes! 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 Oh! I was reminiscing about my first fountain pen experience with a Schaefer student pen back in grade five or six, just a few years ago. The pens came in a blister pack with a package of six Schaefer washable blue cartridges. I remember I preferred the harder to get Schaefer washable peacock blue. So I went on an eBay search for a 1970s model that looked similar to my first fountain pen and bought this black one with a silver cap. My original was a solid light blue barrel with a silver cap, but this one will do. It should be here in about a week now. In preparation for that review, I thought I should get a modern Schaefer student pen. So I bought this Schaefer pop series from Staples and it was about $20 so that should be an interesting comparison of new and old after my reviews of the Hongdian 580 and 920 pens I got so many comments regarding the Black Forest model that I thought I should look into them but they were also very slim for me then I happened upon this Hongdian 6013 General Black now, I don't know if the color is just general, generic black, or the name refers to an officer named black. Here we see the efficiency of America's armed forces in the course of a major stress situation. Meet major stress. The message is, Mars needs women. But the pen is thicker than the other Hongdian models. And with that swoopy clip, it looks like it's a copy of another fountain pen. But to save me some research time, I'll just ask you folks to tell me in the comments which pen the 6013 Hongdian is ripping off, as I'll be informed by a comment in any event. Next, I decided to get one of Bobby's custom architect nibs. I don't know which number five nib pen I'm going to try it on yet, 
but it was the last one in his Etsy store so I pulled the trigger I'm really glad I did as I only paid 14 bucks for it and they're now a thousand dollars oh my god I'll entertain bids on this precious nib when it arrives I don't think I can let it go for under 900 okay so the next three pens I purchased before I was infected with fomonucleosis but the therapy of constantly refreshing the order status helps enormously in addition to zooming in on all the online photos this will be my second Twisby I was torn between this Twisby 582 with rose gold trim and a Twisby Vac Mini in white with rose gold trim I was concerned the Mini even posted might be too small for me I think the black and rose gold trim 580 will look nice with some J Urbain stormy gray ink what do you think on the same order as the Twisby I snagged this Visconti Mirage aqua blue with a medium nib I thought it might be time to revisit Visconti especially as the Mirage has an acrylic grip section not metal I'm still embarrassed for buying my Visconti Van Gogh Starry Night because of how much I paid for it and for how much I dislike the metal section then I got this Visconti Breeze for Winnie for her birthday a couple of years ago and it's a nice pen with a nice acrylic section but I find it a bit light I like the fluting on this Mirage model and the clip that pivots through the cap putting the Visconti my pen medallion on the bottom of the barrel I think that's cool it'll make an interesting video review uh, with my Visconti Van Gogh the breeze and this Rembrandt then I decided to get another Memento Zero I've lusted after many of Salvatore's special acrylics and limited editions but they're all way out of reach price wise for me but this Memento Zero with the rose gold trim in the color Prugna which I think is Italian for pregnant plum is just gorgeous I got it with a medium nib the next pen is one that I picked up last Wednesday sometimes timing just tells you that the purchase was destiny within hours of my posting my video on the platinum 3776 comparison to the Natami inception flight of time my camel 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 alerted me that a platinum 3776 in Bourgogne with a 14 karat gold coarse nib had hit my target price for those of you that might not know camel 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 is a browser extension that will alert you when Amazon items hit a target price you set for them I had set a target price of $150 Canadian for this 3776 in Bourgogne months ago and it alerted me just as my video where I mentioned that I was still jonesing for the 3776 Bourgogne and especially now that I'm giving Jack his 3776 back from being on loan so I pulled the trigger I got it for the equivalent of $118 US with free shipping from Japan so it'll probably be here sometime in April I expect and I wasn't done on Wednesday Wednesday was very busy no sooner had I received the camel 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 alert a viewer commented on the new model Wingsong 628 and drew my attention to Bobby's Instagram post about the pen I looked at his Aliexpress sale and saw it was a 14 karat gold nib in a pen that was remarkably similar to either a Mont Blanc 146 or a Mont Blanc 149 I had to know the dimensions of the pen so I wrote a note to Bobby on Instagram and he wrote back within about two hours which is great uh, with this image giving me the details I immediately pulled up the specs on the Mont Blanc 149 and compared the pens are roughly the same size with the wing sung being about 10 grams lighter which makes sense as it's a cartridge converter and not a piston filler and the wing song has a number five size of 14 karat gold compared to the Mont Blanc which has a much larger 18 karat gold nib the number five size nib on the wing song might make it look odd I don't know but we shall see because I ordered one this pen ought to make a lot of pen purists get their knickers in a twist I anticipate plenty of thumbs down on that video we shall see and the next two pens have already arrived as they are gifts this Admoc white and gold fountain pen is a birthday present for our neighbor and friend Susie so shh, don't tell her 
and this is a Moonman P135 limited edition with a jewel on the top finial and this is for Winnie's birthday and today is Winnie's birthday happy birthday Winnie I've already actually given her this pen and we've made a trip to our local pen store for matching ink she chose J Urbain Rouge Hematite which will be in very soon so all of that retail therapy has completely taken my mind out of missing out on the pen BBS 348 now that I've taken up half of the video time with my fomonucleosis let's look at the new pen as I said in the introduction this model 491 is not new to me because I bought one when they first arrived and it was in Corderite I don't own that pen anymore having given it away as part of a pen giveaway contest on my channel and no I'm not going to give this one away but I'm also not going to go over every detail of the pen here today as I'll link in the original pen BBS 491 review in the description below for you to see the details I'll put up the dimensions here though so you don't have to hunt for them what I will do today is generally go over the parts and features of this pen show some size comparisons some measurements and then provide a writing sample after the writing sample please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this pen I like this model from the moment I got my corderite the pen is sleek with a conical top and bottom finial has no hardware no step from the cap to the barrel is a cartridge converter but can be eyedroppered and takes a ton of ink the cap posts and doesn't back weight the pen severely although it does make it rather long but still it's actually very comfortable to write with both posted and unposted the pen is nicely girthy if that's a word and it's up there with my memento zero in girthiness there's the memento zero right next to the 491 you can see that they're both fairly girthy pens but what makes this pen different from the corderite is the starry night finish just look at this chatoyancy folks this is just crazy I've shown you how gaga I go over all my galaxy finish pens pen BBS 308 galaxy pen BBS 480 galaxy pen BBS 456 galaxy pen BBS 355 galaxy those galaxies are incredible not to mention my moon man m800 galaxy but this starry night has me wondering if I'll be searching for all of those models in starry night now while writing with the pen last night in my journal I had my desk lamp illuminating my pages and as I turned and moved the pen in my hand the light reflected and refracted off and through the pen and onto my hand as I wrote you have to hold it in your hand to experience it and the fine mini food a nib right out of the box was wet and glassy smooth here's a photo of the first writing I did after inking the pen in the week and a half since I inked the pen I felt it could be a tad wetter so I pushed the nib slowly and carefully in downstrokes on the paper seven times you can see I dated that the other day and now it writes a lot wetter almost a gusher you'll see it in the writing sample but first let's look at some size comparisons and here is the pen BBS 491 starry night with a pen BBS 355 a moon man m800 a Visconti van Gogh starry night and a Ranga 4c ebonite now let's look at them posted and here they are posted some very long pens here but you can see how thick the body is of the 491 uh, compared to the moon man m800 they're almost the same size and of course the van gogh i've added here because it is a starry night and so we can compare our starry nights and it has a number five nib and a metal section and of course the ranga i've put here because it has a seamless body as well when it's capped 
Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper as always and this is the Pen BBS 491 Starry Night with a fine steel nib. Let's check the wetness. This pen is very wet indeed. I showed you the uh, the photograph earlier of uh, my first writing with this pen and it was about half that wetness but with those seven pushes on it it's really opened it up nicely and this nib is just like glass glassy smooth and the ink today is J. Urban Bleu Ocean with an accent. Is that going the right way? Yes, it is. Accenting goo. Good Canadians know this stuff. What garbage? Well, what do you expect? They're Canadian. Here's the swatch for the J. Urbain Blue Ocean. And I spelled it wrong there. I just realized it's B L E U, just to confuse us. And it is a uh, a purplish violet kind of an ink uh, with some really nice uh, sparkly uh, shimmer to it and a little bit of a, a reddish brown sheen. I thought it was a perfect match for Starry Night as it has all that sparkle in it. And here's some Pelican Edelstein Sapphire and some Diamine Sapphire Blue. As to line variation, that's no pressure. That's a little bit of pressure. I'm not going to push it anymore because I don't want it any wetter than this. But this is very stiff, as most uh, Pen BBS Chinese steel nibs are. Uh, and this is no different. So you're not going to get any line variation out of this pen. Comparing this line to my Richard Binder chart, it comes out at 0.5 millimeters, which is a Western fine and a Japanese fine to medium and for our quote And some reverse writing. Very thin, dry line, very scratchy. And some quick writing. This has no difficulty keeping up whatsoever. So, what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? This pen proves a point to me that I've pondered previously. And that is, does the finish of a pen affect how I feel about the pen or is it all in the nib on paper and the feel of the pen in the hand? The answer is a resounding yes. The finish and look of the pen has a profound effect on how I feel about the pen. Will the finish overcome a pen that doesn't write well or feel good in the hand? Well, that's a resounding no, and I have my Leonardo Memento Zero Blue Hawaii here to prove a point. When I first got this beautiful pen, both nibs I got with it would not write, and it actually made me shudder to even look at the pen. Then I had the Custom Architect Italic nib ground by Jack, and the pen is now at the very top of my pen collection. It's the same with this Pen BBS Starry Night. 
I owned the Corderite version, and it was a nice pen, and I gave it high marks. But I also gave it away, and I really didn't miss it. Now that I have this incredible Chateauian blue in my hand, I just adore it. I'll keep it. I'll cherish it. Go figure. Are there still some concerns about this model? Well, yeah. If you need a clip or a roll stop, then this isn't the pen for you. If you don't like a thick, girthy pen in your hands, then stay away. But there's something about this smooth rod in the hand. I say stuff like that, you know, to lighten the tension when things sort of get hard. That's what she said. <sighs> hey! This rod of chatoyant, sparkling, mesmerizing blue acrylic that you just want to hold in your hand. And the fact that it writes as smooth as water on ice makes this inexpensive fountain pen worth every penny of the $28.99 US, including shipping, that I paid for it. Seriously, folks, I may sound like a pen BBS shill, but tell me honestly, where can you get a turned acrylic fountain pen this beautiful and functional for under $30 anywhere in the world at the moment? I'd be interested to hear your suggestions. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. this.